been climbing this ridge all morning. Just kind of zigzagging back and forth up it and around. That's going to be sunny. And now I'm probably, I haven't looked at the elevation, but probably going up there. Maybe a little more climbing. But way back, like these guys, that's what we came down. Everyone came down that yesterday. Bumped into a lot of people in town. I wouldn't really consider it a town. But uh, we'll see more people on the trail today. On the other side of that now. So it looks like we're going to kind of ride this ridge. And I don't see, I don't see too much trail. But we're either going around the left of that or around the right of that. Quiet little valley down here. A little greener. The other side was pretty exposed. Glad I didn't do that in the day. Really, really hungry today. This is my second lunch. We got a bagel, cheese, tuna, hot sauce. Then I'm gonna dive into some cheddar cheese, crackers. Very excited. Can't wait to eat this. I wanna take a nap. Don't think I can really do it today. I wanna hit the border, but it's kinda of far. We'll see. Those are mules? Yes, you are. Wow. Uh, Elijah's out of a draft horse, so she's a giant of a girl. It's the biggest mule I've ever seen. Yeah. Her mom was a Belgian draft horse. Wow. And then she had a donkey for a father. Okay. How much can they carry? Well, Liz, I wouldn't want to pack her. We usually pack no more than 150. She could probably carry 200 easy because she's so big. Holy she's usually 50% of their body weight, 15. So for you, that'd be like carrying a day pack. Got it. How you doing? Hey. <laughs> He's excited to meet I'm just horses. taking we'll photos take of the horses. We're going to take some with you in them. What are you doing? She goes, I'm hungry. I'm eating lunch. Okay. And then this is Sunny. Big, big guy. <laughs> All right. Here's nice the picture. leader horse. What does the leader horse mean? Well, um, there has to be one horse that's brave enough to be out front and is not scared by stuff. Oh, okay. And so Sunny is... Um, 21 so he's pretty brave the mules kind of like to be behind a horse they have a tendency to bond to a horse and so they'll go i want to be out front and then they'll go ah there's something scary and then they'll run back behind the horse <laughs> for a big official name so yellowstone starlight so we've had a hard time um coming up with a name that would be good for her so one time bill said to me uh do you know what kind of a horse Dale Evans rode? And I went, yeah, buckskin. He said, do you know what the buckskin's name was? And I said, yes, buttermilk. And so we started calling her Butter, or Butters for short, but that's really not her name. So beautiful horse. we now call her, I'm trying to remember to call her Yellowstone since that's her name, Yellowstone Starlight. Beautiful name too. Wasn't expecting to run into Peggy and Bill on the trail. They're up here from from about around here to where I got on to the road yesterday, right around the marbles. He covers that entire trail and he and he cleans it up every year. Just all volunteer work. Amazing. And I want to film him, but <laughs> before I left. I guess he I guess he's a poet. Like nothing abstract. It's it's just poetry, pretty simple story. But he had this great poem about the the pack mules and the I guess they'd call them like pack trains going from here or where where Etna was. It used to be maybe Beaver Valley and packing packing out gold and goods to the coast to the banks. Really good poem. Interesting guy. Funny to bump into him. I still can't get over how big those mules were. I need a mule. 
a little windy looking back at where I've come come from. So Peggy tells me I'm on this, we've been hiking this ridge and it's going east to west. So the south, California, that's my first sight of Oregon. Kind of, I'm in this mad dash today to get to the border sign. She's just like, there's no rush. Just look to your left. There's Oregon. So in maybe 12 or so miles, we start heading north again into Oregon. Until then, I just get to look at it. There's Peggy and Bill's truck. Before I left, she said if I needed water, there was water in the back. I couldn't pass it up. That was so nice of them. Ended up taking, taking a couple big swigs out of my water bottle and filling it back up. Nice treat, because it's hot out. Starting to get dark. A little bit, the sun's not gonna be shining on this beard. But I'm under three miles, under three miles to the border, the California, Oregon border. My legs kind of feel like jello. I can't just stop, I gotta go to the border. And then, uh, then I'll find a place to camp. Hopefully it's not too dark. Creepy old cabin. Peggy and Bill say they're not doing it, but uh, people are trying to restore this. It's at the top of this amazing meadow. I forget what the meadow name is, she told me. Imagine living there. Beautiful. Oh, there's a little camp spot. Just noticing this now. Truck in a tent. Whew, I think I'm under a mile to the border. So there might still be light. It's 8.30. I made it. California in that darkness. Oregon in this darkness. Whew. A little tired. This is terrible lighting because it's late. I should probably say something. I don't really have anything. I'm tired. I'm happy to be out of California. I had a blast in California, but California is big. Glad I hit it tonight. Still a big day tomorrow, hiking into Ashland. If I had stayed on my pace, I would have hit this tomorrow morning and I would have had to hike 29 miles into Ashland. But I think I only have 26 or 25 left. I also think this might be day 103. So it took me 102, 103 days to get to Oregon. Amazing. Two states left.